Okay, question two. So this is a sketching a graph question. So f of x is this between zero and three. That's important, guys. We're going to start at zero and stop at three. Sketch the graph of f on the grid below. Let's do that first. So get out my calculator. This is a paper two, by the way, guys. I don't know. I genuinely have no idea what this looks like. Well, I can have a bit of a guess, but not really. So go into your graph and type this in 3x minus 4 to the power of 0 0.15x squared like this looks something like so now I might just change my I'm going to change my grid my view here so zoom let's put the window settings and I'll put it what I see on the grid, it goes from about negative one to four, and then negative three to five. Okay, there we go. Now, I like to use the trace button. So trace here, graph trace. So let's just go back to the start. So zero minus one, that's going to be the first point this is where the graph stops, 0, negative 1. Do not draw anything to the left of 0. Then my x-intercept is at 0 0.3415. So that's somewhere, I don't know, somewhere between these two. Um, let's just go, I don't know, some of that, something like that. That's not that important. It's not asking me to put in those those points. Then the next big, really important point is the maximum. So this is a 2.33 and 3.898. So 2.33 is going to be um, also somewhere in somewhere here, and 3.898 is going to be close to 3.9, which would basically be just below four, like that. So it's going to come up here, turn there, and then remember we're going to stop at 3. So we're going to stop at 3, 2.502, basically 2.5. So 3, 2.5 is here. All right, now I'm just going to join these, these dots. You guys will be able to do it better than me for sure. I don't know what's going on here. Hang on. So I just need to I need to join these dots up like this and then turn there, that's the maximum, and then stop there. So that will give me my three marks. You'll get one mark for being uh, stopping at zero and three, one mark for this being approximately the correct position and one mark probably for the shape. So that's part A done. Part B, um, part B, he says find the value of x for which the derivative equals zero. Well, hopefully this is just testing guys that you know that a derivative equals zero at the maximum. So you could actually write f dash of x equals zero at maximum. That'll give you like a guaranteed one mark, even if for some reason you mess the next bit up, it just shows you understand where the where where the first derivative is zero, and then you don't even have to get the derivative; you just go to the maximum, and it's a it's here. It's two point three three one, so x equals two point three three one, or approximately equal to two point three three, and that's it. Pretty straightforward question. As I say, guys. Always these these sketching graph questions they're they're actually easy questions because you're just basically copying what your calculator shows you but students always 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 lose marks for some reason or another or another often the most common mistake is that they go further than zero and three like this and they continue it on okay that's question two I'll see you in the next question.